Should you leave your hometown if you want to be successful? Whether it is in business, whether it is in sport, whether it is in entertainment, doesn't matter. Should you actually leave your hometown? This is something that we've heard a lot of talk about and this is something that I did myself. I left my whole continent, uh, the whole continent on which I actually grew up in, which is Europe, when I was 20 years old to pursue, to, to try to find some success. And I actually left my parents' house when I was 18, right? So there was a lot of talk that a lot of people talk about that on, 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 on Twitter a lot of the time. And I wanted to give you guys my own experience, right? So this is what we're going to talk about in today's video. If you do not know me, my name is Chris Mangunza. I release daily videos about selling on Amazon and about entrepreneurship in general, sharing my own journey with you guys every single day right here on this YouTube channel. So if you are new, subscribe and like this video so you get recommended more videos. All right. So as I said, I left my hometown when I was actually 18. And you could say that I left it before that when I was playing basketball to pursue, to, to pursue some higher level of success actually when i was 16 but i left my parents house like 100 percent when i was 18 to study right but after that as i said i left belgium where i grew up in and where i am right now actually i'm visiting uh, family i left belgium when i was 20 to go to the us to pursue school and entrepreneurship right so there's a lot of people that say that it's not really worth it it's better to stay at your parents home because you're going to save money all that stuff yes that's true but i'm going to tell you i'm going to talk from my own experience i know that if i did not move to the us when i was 20 and i'm going to tell you it was not easy at all to be like far away from family to be by yourself you know uh and having to deal with everything that life is going to throw at you by yourself it's not easy at all and i would have saved a ton of money if i actually if i actually stayed um in belgium and i actually stayed in school i was actually studying law i guess i could have been a lawyer have a decent life but to be honest like i'm actually glad that i actually moved yes it cost me a lot of money yes i would have maybe have more money saved up maybe not because right now my business is doing good and all that stuff but i'm telling you i would have not being able to reach the level of success that I had in business if I did not leave my hometown. And the reason why is because, one of the reasons why is because I always wanted to start a business, right? But the fact that I was in the US, that I had no other choice except like the only thing that I could have done is working illegally, right? It was either that or start a business. I did not want it to, I did not want to work illegally. So like the only option that I had was to create a business to be able to make some money, right? And same thing, to stay in the US, it was either I get an H-1B visa and work like a slave because H-1B visas are pretty much modern day slavery. If you guys don't know, just look it up. Or like I would have gone the entrepreneurial way and actually start my business and get an investor visa, which is what I actually did, right? So if you actually look at a ton of successful entrepreneurs, a ton of successful business people, a ton of successful people, doesn't matter which industry they are in, um, you're going to see that they actually left their hometown, their whole country for a lot of them just to learn a lot of stuff and it's important to see other cultures, to see other people, to see to see different countries um, and this is a common uh, a common theme that you would see among a lot of people you know there's a couple of there's a couple of counter example where you see that it's people that stayed their whole life in their hometown but it's a really like it's a handful of them compared to the amount of people that actually had to leave their hometown to be successful and you, you, you if you actually do it yourself and we are going to talk about these examples but if you actually do it yourself like if you are young if you are 16 17 and you do not know just yet if you should leave your hometown leave your country do it i'm going to tell you it's not going to be easy at all Okay, it's going to be way easier for you if you actually stay in your hometown, if you stay in your country, but you're going to learn so much, you're going to be forced to grow up way faster and uh, because you will have no other choice, right? I'm telling you and it's going to help you a lot in life. Now, as I said, there's a ton of examples that we can talk about of people that were actually immensely successful that actually left their hometown. The first one that I want to talk about is Aliko Dangote. If you do not know who Aliko Dangote is one of the biggest um, the biggest business person in Africa, right? Uh, he is from Nigeria. He, he is one of the biggest. He, he is the biggest industrial 
guy in Africa, I believe, um, and in Nigeria, in West Africa, for sure. So he actually left to study in Egypt before going back to Nigeria and apply everything that he learned. And he started from nothing. He's one of the biggest, he's one of the richest person in the world. He's the richest, um, he's probably the richest uh, black guy in the world. Not sure, but he's, he's the richest guy. I believe he's the richest guy in Africa, if you actually do not count um, politicians and all that stuff that gets a lot of money and we all know how they do this, right? But um, there's a lot of people, even if we, if we think about um, Socrates, if we think about uh, Pythagor Pythagoras, I'm not sure you say his name in English, but they went in Egypt as well to study, okay, in antiquity, because it was the center of knowledge back in those days. And you could argue that today, you know, with the internet and all that stuff, you do not necessarily need to leave, but leaving and being by yourself, like having to deal with life by yourself is going to teach you a lot of stuff that you cannot learn any other way. And there's a lot of stuff that you cannot get, that you cannot be taught, right? That the only way you would actually be able to learn is by experience and facing all these difficulties by yourself, without your mom, without your dad, without your brothers, without your sisters, without your extended family, without your friends around you, is going to teach you a lot of stuff and is going to teach you how to actually uh, get things done by yourself and how to actually resolve problems because there will be nobody to actually help you. And I'm going to tell you this is going to teach you a lot. As I said, there's a couple of counterexamples. We can take about a few people that actually stayed in their hometown and that reached a huge success and I, I guess the biggest one is actually Warren Buffett who stayed in Nebraska his whole life uh, and who's right still in Nebraska he's still, uh, he's still living in Nebraska today where he sells his company and all that stuff but to be honest like if you are a young guy and I'm going to say it again if you are young you are 16 17 you are 15 I'm telling you if you want to be successful leave your hometown leave your hometown uh, leave your parents' house. Yes, you're not going to be able to save to save as much money as if you were staying at your parents' house. It's going to it's going to be a little bit sore for you at the beginning um, if you want to buy a house, if you want to do all that stuff. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you that the stuff that you're going to learn, you're going to be way more successful on the long run if you actually do this uh, than if you were to if you were to actually stay in your parents' house and uh, whatever it is for school. Turn right when you go to college or whatever later in life, I'm telling you, you're going to learn so much stuff. It's going to force you to find solutions that it's going to. It, you're going to face situations that you would have never faced if you were staying in your own town. If you always had that safety net, all right. And I'm going to tell you, it's not easy at all. And it does not mean that you absolutely, if you're outside of the US, that you absolutely need to go to the US or to Canada. Or to Europe, all Turn that right, stuff. Um, but you absolutely need to. You absolutely need to leave your hometown. You absolutely need to leave your own country, all right? And even if it's if it's just for one year, two years, three years, uh, I, I, I've been in the U.S. for ten years, right? Uh, you do not need that much time. You know, just if you just do it for a couple of years, it's going to teach you a lot. I guarantee. And whenever you're going to go back to your hometown, you're going to be ten years ahead of everybody with the stuff that you know with the situations that you faced with the experience that you were able to get i'm going to tell you once again there are some stuff that you can get from mentors there are some stuff that you can get from people that are going to teach you but experience is going to teach you a lot of stuff that nobody is going to <clears throat> help you learn like it's just impossible so leave your hometown um leave your hometown settle in a new town a new country you're gonna learn so much stuff uh, and especially the best time to do it is when you go for when you go to college best time to do it so um yeah because like it's, it's when it's going to be the easiest also for for you to develop um to develop a network as well because if you do it after school it becomes way easier because it's in school that you meet a lot of people i'm sorry a lot harder right so um do it while you are in school right uh, if you go to college all that stuff and if it's a little bit later in life just try, just try, if, if you work remote anyway, just try for six months. Just try for six months. If you don't have kids, if you, if you haven't bought a home, just say, and even if you bought a home, you don't care, you work remote, that's fine. Like, just go, I don't know, if you're in the US, let's say that you're in the US and you actually speak Spanish, 
go try Spain for six months and then go back to the US, right? But try to travel long term. There's always something that you can do and it's going to teach you a lot of stuff. All right, so uh, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like, do all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new video.